Right, we are in the two VW Sportsman qualifying now. Uh, you will see numbers appearing on the scoreboard. So there we go. 12.72 is what Dan Brioche reckons he can run with the Loco Polo. And it's Lottie Bradford. She reckons 18.25 is the number that she can hit with the Beetle. Now, there's no head starts. This is qualifying. They are just trying to run the numbers that they have dialed in. But when it comes to eliminations, if these numbers were run, then 18.25 would be a head start, obviously, over 12.72. The idea being that they would meet at the finish line. So it will be the Loco Polo that will get to the top end first. How well has he judged this? 12.96, couple of tenths off. And a breakout way too quick there for Lottie Bradford, 17.92. Hmm, I think we'll see an adjustment on the darling uh, next time round for Lottie. <laughs> Most definitely. Uh, Caitlin Wilson, well done. Third in the human powered race. Well done. Right, Jake Fronda and Jerry Sadler in uh, BW Sportsman. So Jake dialing in 12.30 with the Audi. Goes 12.36, only six hundredths off, that's good for number one. And Jerry Sadler goes 16.16 16 on a 16 flat, just 16 hundredths off, and that's good for number two. Emma Sadler, the candy, the candy queen, has a sweet shop in Milton Keynes, hence the candy queen. Going alongside Andy Vos. With the Sayat, dining in 15.10, Emma dining in 15.65. Now, if you've got a VW, as most of you have here, I want to take part in drag racing, why not? Go and see the VW DRC, have a chat with some of the racers there. You, too, could join in and uh, do some VW racing with the VW DRC. Also, you can take part in uh, sportsman racing as well. And it's a great bunch of racers as well in uh, both classes. So Andy Vose goes through with a 1591 and a 1676 there for Emma. So Andy goes three, Emma goes four. All right, the Sayat Leon of Nigel Corson up next. Darling 14 flat and then Steve Stone with the golf. 15.60. Well, don't forget we do have our perfect awards uh, this weekend. A uh, hundred quid is up for grabs, courtesy of Eurodrags.com and the sponsors. Now then, the Perfect Light Award, which is basically a reaction time uh, award. If we can get all the zeros on that one, uh, that is um, £50. Pounds. First racer to record a reaction time of 0 0.000, and that is with Eurodragster and Bad Habit Racing. And the Perfect ET Award is also £50 for the person who can hit their dial-in bang on. In other words, 0.000 on their index. The perfect ET award supported by Andy Hadfield and the Twister Race team. And uh, I don't know if Andy's tuned in today, but Andy and Haley, a very, very good afternoon to you. Hope you uh, keep it well. Looks like you had a fantastic time away last weekend with the, with the new camper. And of course, lots and lots of love coming your way once again from the pod and everybody here at Bug Jam. And Bruce about to put the run in. Not very often you can do a run up the quarter mile with uh, a plane from World War II flying overhead. So Bruce goes 1531. Uh, Justin goes 1526. They go nine and three.
And of course, the customary wing waggle as well to say, thanks very much. We'll see you again soon. Oh, problems for Nigel Gregson pulling over to the right straight away off the line. And bizarrely, <laughs> that sent the other one on its way. Not quite sure what happened there. I was looking at the plane in the sky. Let's see who's up next then. Uh, got a funny feeling it's going to be Laurie Anslow. Yep, yeah, Jason's out in front there. Good afternoon, buddy. So we replaced a yellow Octavia with a blue one. <laughs> Going alongside Paul Jackson with the T 2.5 camper. It's called Pop the Kettle On. I love it. This car, or this van, if you like, uh, took a win in the VW Pro versus VW Sportsman shootout yesterday. And it dials in a 24.5 for the quarter mile. I want you to give this lots of encouragement as it goes up the quarter mile. His normal race car is broken, but he's got this bus. Go on, cheer him on. Cheer him on. Laurie Anslow is going to get to the strike first, no question on that, looking for a 17 flat and gets a 17.41. But here comes Paul Jackson. He's approaching the finish line. Will he go over 50 mile an hour? 25.58, doesn't quite reach the 50. It's 46.8, but it's the aerodynamics of a bungalow. Probably did leave the kettle on, that's why it ran so slow. But uh, well done, Paul. Great to see you taking part. He'll adjust the dial in accordingly. Uh, to see if he can run the numbers. Right, next up, Alex Day with the Golf. Darling in 12.7, and Steve Metcalf with Blue Steel, the Baja Bug, 16.70. Well, nicely away for Steve. Now, on the uh, scoreboard, you can see his reaction time. You won't see that in racing, but in qualifying, you will. And uh, Steve, with a 0.7 reaction time, it's always good to try and cut a good light. Uh, not entirely going to plan for Alex Day with the golf. Steve Metcalf goes 17.37 at 72 miles an hour. But uh, Alex limping along. It right, does so. Well done. Right, OK, so our next pair coming up to the line then. John Gallant with the Sirocco. Dialing in 7.20 and Paul Robinson with the Audi TT 14.84 for Paul Robinson, just four hundredths off, goes into the number two spot with that one. John Gallant goes six, uh, sorry, 17.43 on a 17.20. It goes into number nine. Right, the two yellow cars side by side, Polly Judge and Reese Finney. 1583 and 1690, the targets. 1655 and 1705, Reese doing the better job there, goes in at number five. Polly goes in at number 13. So, points leader at the moment in the. Uh, the championship is uh, Paul Robinson. Phil Jones is number two spot. John Crawford is currently number three. And I believe they are all here this weekend. Yeah. 
So the Darlings end 16 flat for Rob Cresswell and Katie Jackson looking for 17 60. Sixteen seventy four and nineteen fifty seven. So adjustments on dialings coming up for both of those two. So Hazel fifteen fifty gets a fifteen thirteen big breakout. Uh, as did Becky, 16.01 on a 16.41, uh, both going way too quick. Connor Jones. And uh, we do have a driver name for uh, 597, we just haven't got it on the screen at the moment, that's weird. That's uh, Andy Cooper. So Andy Cooper looking for 15.40 gets a 15.60. And a 17.98 there for Connor Jones. So Andy goes nine, Connor goes 20. Andrew Bambrick with the Mark II Golf. And Darren Rogs with the Mark I. The dial-ins, 13.45 for Andrew, and it's a 16.72 for Darren. Thirteen forty-one, just that little bit too quick there for Andrew. Darren Walsh, the right side, sixteen ninety-six on a seventy-two. Breakout though for Phil Jones. Let's see how these two get on then. The John Crawford, the Crawdog, wants a 1586. This is Bill Jones actually with the Dragon Wagon. Whoa, a lot of wheel spin. Don't forget, show and shine presentations front of the main stage as we speak. 3.30, we'll see the live action arena. And of course, Bug Jam's got talent registration. John Crawford goes 16.13 and 16.84 for Phil with the Audi. And next up, it's the Lupos. Tom Circuit from Buckingham wants an 18.30. Danny Bean wants 14.70 with the yellow one. Fifteen fifty plays an eighteen seventy five. Danny goes nineteen. Tom goes fourteen. Right, we move on to BW Pro. Dave Crowhurst going alongside Abby Tether. Nine point five one. For the Beetle, 12.65 for the Golf R.
Well, one of them needs to go in. There we go. Dave goes in. There goes Abby. Drive it like you stole it, Dave. 9.79, 141 miles an hour the strike. But Abby Tether, how about that? 12.90 on a 12.85. In actual fact, they go one and two, but then they are the first two cars in VW Pro. <laughs> but nevertheless, 12.90 on a 12.85 dial, and that's going to be pretty tricky to beat, actually. Abby Tether running very close to our number straight away. Next up, Ed Keats with the Tango Golf. And it is Sam Young with the current Beetle. Twelve flat is the dialing uh, for Ed. Ten point two zero for Sam. Well, current racing uh, their best launch so far. 1072, 127. And 1248, 110. Ed goes three, Sam goes four. Mark Taylor with the Saint Leon. Wants a 10.20 on his timing slip to match the 10.20 he reckons the car will run. And it's the Langster of Jonathan Newell. Cooper. Oh, perfect reaction time money goes there. Triple O two for Jonathan Newell. Well, that's some of it gone. Zero, 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 0002 on the reaction time. Oh, that only breaks up by three hundredths of a second. But the perfect light award, 50 quid, has gone. Brilliant stuff there. Well, that didn't take long to go. <laughs> Oh, Graham Fairhead lifted those front wheels up beautifully there on the launch for the Misfit Type 3. He wants 11.20. Rob Carter looking for 12.90. Then 38 and 13.22. So Graham goes two, Rob goes four. Next up, Chris Waterhouse with the Audi A3. That's 10.70. Done a few runs in uh, Run What You Brung. And it's James Hodson, the Golf, 10.70. In fact, they both dial in the same. Ten ninety five for James. Unfortunately, Chris didn't get off the line at all. So that will get that one back to the pits and suss out what went wrong. And hopefully make it back for Q2. Next up, Charlie Roberts with the up. Darling in 11.60, going alongside Chris Pointer with the Green Goblin. 11.77 for the Beetle.
Chris gets there first with 11.41. Big old breakout there. Uh, Charlie Roberts goes 11.88 or 11.60. He's the right side, so he goes number four. But Chris with the breakout, bottom of the pile there, <laughs> even though he went quicker. Uh, 11.41, they help him, so he goes in at number 11. Ollie Whitehouse with the Beetle looking for 12.95. Go on, Ollie. 13.17 goes in at number three with that one. Nicely done. Ah, good to see Geordie here. Paul Jordan with the polo. 9.20 dialing. Going alongside Ian Dale with the strip burner beetle. Paul Jordan definitely going to get there first. 9.78, 149 miles an hour. And that's the 12.53 at 107. So Ian goes 11, Paul goes 12. Phil Blog with the caddy, the debt collector. 11.70, darling. And it's Jake Fronda. With the, the Audi. 11.3. Twelve thirty five plays twelve fifteen. Phil goes thirteen, Jake goes fourteen. Simon Crowley with the Trailer Queen. Mark one golf. Those front tires scrabbling for grip there. A uh, good run there for Simon. 988, 142. It's starting to come together for Simon Crowley. Fantastic run for him. Who cares that they broke out? 142 mile an hour at the stripe. 988 on the run. Well done, gang. Exceptional pass from them. Uh, they're fair to say they've been up against it recently, but that was well and truly worth it to. Uh, for them to get down there with that run. Absolutely outstanding.